Welcome to the installation video for the Specialty Products Toyota Tacoma Adjustable Upper Control Arms. This includes part numbers 25470 and 25480. Always follow proper safety precautions associated with all the equipment used in this video. Read the installation instructions thoroughly. Raise vehicle under the lower control arms to keep suspension loaded. Support with jack stands if necessary. Remove front tire and wheel assembly. Remove bolt holding ABS wiring from upper control arm. Remove cotter pin and nut holding OEM ball joint to spindle. Break taper between ball joint stud and spindle using ball joint separator such as SPC number 37995 or similar. Support spindle so no strain is applied to ABS wiring or brake lines. Remove the clips holding the splash guard to gain access to the control arm mounting bolt. If needed, loosen the brake line bracket. It may interfere with removing the control arm nut. Remove nut from washer, from control arm to frame mounting bolt, then remove bolt. Remove the control arm. Note, to provide clearance, additional components in the engine compartment may need to be removed. Install the SPC control arm into the frame bracket of the vehicle. Be sure to install washers so outer flange is spaced away from the bushing bumper, not tight against them. Torque mounting bolt to manufacturer's specification. Unlike original equipment rubber bushings, X-axis bushings pivot freely and may be fully torqued without placing any weight on the suspension. Install star plate over hex on ball joint per instruction chart to achieve desired caster change relative to stock arm. For most trucks with two to three inches of lift, setting D should return caster to factory specifications. It may be necessary to use different positions on each side to achieve desired cross caster setting. Insert the ball joint up through the bottom of the arm, indexing star plate in machine slot, then install top washer and nut. Position in middle of the slot and tighten nut for initial alignment readings. Insert ball joint stud into spindle. Install supplied castle nut and torque to 45 pound feet. Tighten further until supplied cotter pin can be installed. Reattach ABS wiring bracket to SPC arm using factory bolt. Grease ball joint with NLGI number 2 high molly grease. Reinstall tire and wheel assembly. Lower vehicle and take alignment readings. Adjust camber by loosening top nut and sliding ball joint in control arm slot. Adjust caster by loosening top nut and repositioning star plate to rotate ball joint relative to the arm. It may be necessary to raise vehicle to make these adjustments. When final caster and camber settings are achieved, torque top ball joint nut to 150 pound-feet. Adjust toe and road test the vehicle. 